Alright, uh, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a song just like Tame Impala on FL Studio. I'm gonna teach you how to make the beats as well as what vocal effects you should be using. Before we begin, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more videos like this. It's free and you can change your mind whenever you want. Without further ado, let's get this started. The song I'm gonna be using is my own song, which I recently released in Space Chasing Stars. I recommend you listen to it first and then come back to this video. I should put a lot of effort into it, and it's something I'm definitely very proud of. If you can save it, put it on playlists, whatever, it would mean the world to me. Regardless though, let's get into the video. So we're in the lab, and we're gonna start off with the drums. For the drums, I actually used the Tame Impala drum pack. And what I did to make it sound a lot more natural and not like a, a, an electronic drum beat is I actually use different sounds of the same thing. For instance, for the hat, I have this, but I also have, right? So it, it, it's the same sound, but just tweaked a little bit as if I was playing it live, which makes it sound a lot more authentic and a lot more real. So as you can see, I did that with the drums. I also did that with the snares. This is basically the drum pattern that I made. This shouldn't be a surprise, but I'm going for a more of a current era Tame Impala sound, mostly because um, it's a lot easier to make on FL Studio. Lone Rhythm and Inner Speaker, uh, it's a lot more live instrumentation. It's not that much synthetic, you know, keyboards and stuff like that, even though there's obviously some. Before we get into the pads, which I made a lot of, let's go into the bass. Um, I used this preset, which was uh, free, the, um, the forefront bass module. And it's got a really nice sound to it. This is basically the pattern. The effects I added for the drum and the bass is basically, you know, I just EQ'd it uh, in different parts. I didn't really EQ in, in everything, but, you know, as you can see, I raised the mids, raised the lows in some parts. I basically did the same thing for the bass, except over here I also added a low pass filter. Really important thing that I did is I actually panned the, the drums around just so it sounds a lot more more panoramic and that's like a definite quality of Tame Impala's sound it's very panoramic so stuff like that really helps anyway on to the pads this is a stock plugin this is called citrus i use the crt display mostly because the synth pad is extremely powerful <laughs> Stand, right and the reason I have so many is obviously for like different um, different key switches during like the bridge or something. I, I, don't, I don't like having this, the song be repeating just the same chord progression over again so I like to add some variety uh, same with I did the same thing with the bass and then we get over here into the synth lead which I used citrus shape uh, it has a really nice sound. So for the main, the synth pad, I added some flanger, as well as like some slight reverb. Yeah, okay, well, slight, 109% wet. It just gives it like a more expansive sound in my opinion. For the synth lead, I added also some reverb, also a lot of wet. Um, I, I added a high pass filter over here to remove all the sub bass, the lows, all that stuff. I had some slight delay um, and a compressor. Just another reminder, if you're interested in listening to the song, the link is in the description. It's also in the pinned comments somewhere. It's called in Space Chasing Stars. It's on all platforms, but regardless, let's get back into the video. I also added this chip, this sound effect. Extremely psychedelic. I really like that sound. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's really nice. Um, and you can see I added a lot of reverb. I added a shit ton of reverb as well as a compressor, um, and a Q over here, some delay, sound visor. Okay, sound visor is sex. So adding that all together, this is basically how it sounds. There 
there is another part of this song it just goes into a sort of a beat switch but it very much isn't related to making a tame impala song that's entirely my own creative decision so we'll just skip that and go straight into the vocal effects for some reason the, vo the vocals just completely disappeared um so I, I have the vocal effects but i just don't have the original vocal so i'll just do it myself yeah. i'm so destined from the surf all the stars are painting the motions and the ocean is expanding in my so what did i do pretty simple actually i added a compressor over here this is not um i have a preset video of like stock plugins that sound really well you can click over here see it but I didn't do that this was before and regardless I think it still sounds really nice so first of all I have this compressor um, over here I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken yes this is the drum preset um, over here anyway so then I added this reverb you can see that I added two uh, reverbs however um, the reason I have it is for a, a specific segment of the song the only one that really matters is the first one and this is the vocal effects. So as you can see, I have dry at 100, early reflection at 90, uh, wet at 102, size at 100, dampness at 12.4 kilohertz. I think that's how you say it. Basically just copy it out. I also have the stereo separation at 25. A lot of delay. Uh, these are the effects. I added the ping pong effect that just sort of goes back in a really psychedelic way. Um, although I only have it at about 60-65%. I added an EQ basically removing all the sub bass and most of the bass because Kevin's voice is usually in a falsetto and the, just the low end doesn't really mean much there. And I have my limiter over here where the ceiling is at negative 2.2 dB. Uh, not much else has changed. And just some quick extra things that I did. For one, you can see I have a lot of automation chains. The thing about Kevin is he's an extreme perfectionist and anything that just sounds slightly off, he will remove uh, from the song. And that's why over here, like you can see, I pan a lot the lead synth. Um, I have it moving from left to right. I think it's a nice detail. It's like the small ear candy details that matter because not everybody's going to do it, but when you do it, it really does help. So just mess around with automation clips. If you don't know how to do an automation clip, uh, if you're going to pan it or just on anything, right click and then create automation clip. And that's basically it. If you want to hear the final product, this is a quick extra snippet. I'm so And again, it will mean a lot to me if you can go check it out. Again, it's on all platforms. Any saves, any, you know, putting it on playlists would mean the world to me. And it really helps me out. But hopefully I've helped you out in this video. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. So, peace.